YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. To the day for Speculation Saturdays, I have a pretty interesting video for you guys. I'm going to make my predictions for Funko for 2022. So I have a lot of different things I, you know, I'm thinking about that may happen next uh, year, and I'm going to give you guys my predictions, and we'll come back this time next year and see if I was right. So let's get right into the predictions and see what I got. Here we go. Listen. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome, hit subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So if it's your first time tuning into this segment, what I like to try to do every Saturday is talk about the financial side of Funko Pops, whether it be topics that I find interesting or Funko Pops I think are going to go up in value. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of both. I'll kind of hit you guys with some of my predictions I think is going to happen in the next year for 2022 for Funko. I think it's going to be a, a different kind of year for Funko, and I'll kind of get into the reasons why and what I think is going to be uh, happening in 2022. And I just think it's fun every year kind of to make predictions. That's why I like to do Speculation Saturdays. It is speculation. It's just what I think will happen. And, uh, you know, as always, it's, it's fun doing that, so I'll be happy to uh, see what you guys will think will happen in the next uh, coming year, and if you agree with any of my predictions, so let's get right into them. So starting off, I did watch recently the CEO of Funko's interview. He went on to, I think it was Yahoo Finance, and kind of gave his uh, outlook for the year. So that's kind of why some of these predictions are coming, kind of also the reason and idea for the video. Um, but I, after listening to him think that this is going to be a very, very good year for Funko, at least monetarily. So what I think that means as this, my first prediction is that Funko Pops for 2022 will be mass produced. I don't think that's really a bold prediction in any way. I think last year we had a whole lot of pops that were, uh, you know, heavily produced. Um, I, I think 2022 might be even worse. I think a lot of pops is going to be a lot of uh, them available, meaning I think it's going to hit more so not the commons, but exclusives. Like, you know, the con exclusives, like the Hot Topic, you know, store exclusives, things like that. I think there's going to be more produced of those than there ever has been in the past because that comes down to the bottom line. The more you're selling to these stores, the more money Funko is going to make. And I think that the demand is going to be there for Funko Pops. And I'll kind of go into that uh, reason why in another prediction. But I think 2022 is going to be a little bit harder to navigate buying Funko Pops for future speculation as far as value is concerned. I think there's definitely going to be a lot more lines that Funko's going to drop. Like, you know, it's going to be a lot of variety and a lot of people and fan bases are going to be happy with what we see. Um, but as far as the numbers are concerned, at least on the exclusives, I think they're going to be the least rare of the Funko Pops we've gotten to date so far. All right, so my second prediction comes from something the CEO also said, but I think Funko NFTs are going to catch on this year. So. I don't necessarily think that the digital side of Funko NFT is going to catch on. Um, I really hope they do. You know, you guys know I, I'm a big uh, believer in NFTs long term, but I think that people are going to get more involved with it because based on what the Funko CEO is saying is there's going to be a lot of different lines dropping. And I think eventually people are going to have um, no choice but to be interested because they're interested in that line. I think there's been a lot of different stuff that people who are not really interested in digital products are interested in the Funko NFT physical products that's come out and I think they're going to catch on especially with in the next couple months the first batch the Ninja Turtles and Big Boy Pops are going to be coming out to the people who claim them which I did uh, get a few uh, I think when they get claimed and you see the prices that are going from eBay I think people are going to start getting into Funko NFTs a little bit more because they're going to realize how limited these pops are compared to other ones and also the premium price that they are going for. So I think uh, if you're not into Funko NFTs now, you may look uh, you know, further down this year and uh, realize you've gotten into them. And I think it's just all a matter of time before the majority of the community is at least somewhat interested in Funko NFTs. My third prediction is that the pre-orders that we're currently dealing with as far as long delays are going to continue for at least the first half of the year. I think we're still going through this whole uh, pandemic, uh, you know, supply chain issue. I think that it's going to be resolved. Funko's really, actually done a really good job of navigating it um, as far as making products available. He alluded to that on his interview as well. But I haven't done as many pre-orders as maybe some of you guys have, but the things I have ordered, uh, you know, some stuff's taking a long time, but the other stuff, 
uh, it's definitely taking uh, you know regular amount of time so I think they're doing a good job of, of uh, navigating this they definitely could do better um, but I think it's going to continue for a little while until the kind of get the supply chain um, issues uh, you know fixed and then after that I think what's gonna happen once the pre-order issues are uh, fixed I think the interest in Funko is going to come back to where it was before. I know a lot of people's uh, interest has waned a little bit because of the pre-order wait time. I think that's going to come back this, you know, the second half of this year. I think more people are going to be interested in Funko Pops again because they're constantly getting them in, fast in the mail, seeing them in the stores, and I think the collecting uh, hobby is going to be invigorated a little bit once that supply chain issue is fixed. All right, so my fourth prediction is I think this year Funko is going to drop more Funko sodas than Funko Pops. And that's just a really bold prediction, but I, I don't know how we're going to be able to tell if that's true or not, but it's going to come down to a feeling. So I already feel like it's happening currently, but I just think the Funko sodas are more profitable than Funko Pops. It's a smaller figure they have to make. I, I don't think the packaging is going to cost too much more. I'm just making that up, um, but it seems like they're really leaning into the sodas, and I think that's because they must be making more money and more margin on them. So I definitely think, you know, with the new CEO, to me, seems a little bit more business-minded than he is collectible-minded. Um, I, I think they're going to go for a product that's giving the margins and I think they're going to see more sodas being released. There's a lot of things they can do. They can pretty much make every single Funko Pop that they already made into a soda and it will sell. So the, the options are limitless, limitless at this point and I think they're going to lean into that and make more Funko sodas. So it sucks for me because I'm not being a soda collector but for those that collect sodas I think it's going to be a good year for you guys. I think you're going to have a whole lot of variety and a whole lot of options and uh, we'll see how that all shakes out. And my fifth prediction before we get into the lines, I think they're going to be pretty big hits uh, for this year. Um, at least I hope so. But my fifth prediction is that either Popsies or Funko Gold are going to be no longer existent by the end of the year. Um, if I had to make a guess, I would have to go with Funko Gold. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem like it's clicking with as many people as... Um, they may have hoped for. It definitely doesn't seem to be clicking the sports community. I haven't seen anybody really talking about them at all. I don't see many people talking about it in the Funko community. Um, I think they're cool figures. You know, they look, it remind me of, uh, I think there was a thing in the past called Vinyl Idols. I think that was a Funko product. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but they're, they're just okay. They're not bad. They're not good. Uh, I don't think they're catching on. I've seen the chases for them not going for too much money either. So it doesn't mean, means to me at least now they're not really, um, clicking as much as they would hope so hope for so i would have to go with them being the prediction i don't think they're gonna last a year honestly i, I guess they're bigger figures i think the cost to make them i don't think it's gonna work for funko the popsies i hate but i can un honestly understand why somebody may buy them um, they don't look like they're too expensive to make and i think funko may end up having some success with them so um I, that's my prediction i i don't think they're going to Either one of them is going to have to uh, die out this year. Funko has a whole lot of lines uh, that they already are um, producing. You know, you got Funko Pop, Sodas, Lounge Fly, which is extremely big brand. I've seen it in actually when I went to Vegas, saw them in big, like, uh, designer luxury stores. So I, I think there's a lot of different lines that they can focus their energy on. And I think this is going to be a year Funko tries a lot of things, and some of them are going to fail. And uh, But like I said, I think ultimately at the end of the year, it's going to be Funko's most profitable year by far. Um, the stock price is down. Maybe something you guys want to uh, think about investing in Funko Pops, st or Funko stock. There's a link in the description below if you're interested in signing up to getting a free stock and buying Funko. Um, but I think it's going to be a very, very good year for Funko monetarily. I think the second half of the year is going to be really good for collectors. And I just think it's going to be a, a good year for Funko in general. So I do have three lines I think are going to be, uh, you know, good performers for this year. And I just want to get right into them and see what you think. So the first one I want to talk about is a line I've talked about in the past. These are all things I've mentioned in the past. So no surprise. Sometimes the best investments are just that. It's not like something I'm trying to pull out and be fresh and new sometimes. They're just tried and true things that I think uh, you guys should add to your collection. But the first one I think is going to be good this year is, is X-Men. Um, the reason being is I am predicting, and I, I think it's going to happen, that at some point this year, they're going to announce that X-Men's going to be coming in the future from the MCU. And I think that's going to make people go crazy, and people are going to buy a lot of X-Men stuff, including people in the Funko hobby. Currently, most of the X-Men, the old ones, are vaulted. Um, obviously, they can probably make some new ones, but I, I think the original ones uh, for Marvel stuff normally ends up being the more valuable if you've seen it in the past with other things. I think now is definitely time to buy the X-Men. They're extremely cheap or affordable, I should say, for now. And if that announcement hits this year, I think the sky's the limit for those pops. I think they're going to be 
definitely uh, outside of maybe the original Wolverine since it's so mass produced. Very, very good collectibles for the future. Um, it kind of crosses over to, you know, Marvel collectors, comic collectors, Funko collectors. I think they're definitely ones you want to add to your collection. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with getting any of them, whatever one you think is the best and your favorite X-Men. Um, outside of Wolverine, there's obviously different versions of Wolverine they are better, but the original uh, common one, it, it's uh, not Voltage is available. Um, but I think that line in general is going to have a good year. Even if they don't make the announcement, it's still Voltage and it's going to go up in value. So. First line I want to suggest to you guys for 2022 to pick up is the X-Men. Up next is a little bit of an out-of-box prediction, but I think this might be something that we see this year. Is I think Funko is going to start getting um, more niche. And what I mean by that is people who are collecting are now kind of like me. You know, they have a whole uh, big collection where they're getting picky about certain things and people are going to go start looking for more rare things. And I think what's going to happen is people are going to start looking for the more desirable variants of certain pops. So stuff like I've mentioned in the past, like the Disney Store exclusive ones, where the Disney Store logo is on the pop instead of having just the regular Disney one, they're a lot more valuable and a lot more rare than the, or I should say they're a lot more rare than the uh, regular Disney stuff. And uh, I think people are going to start caring about the variants and the boxes and stuff. So I think the Disney Store stuff is going to make a difference. There's maybe even seeing stuff like that Wolverine I just talked about where the date stamp, where it's like, you know, from the original like 2013 or whatever run it was, maybe more valuable than the newer stuff. Um, you may see stuff like box condition come into more a play as far as the value is concerned. I think Fungo is going to start getting more uh, of being just not a hobby, but being a collectible hobby where certain things, different variants and condition matter more this year. So definitely something I would look out for is those Disney stores variants, um, you know, older, uh, you know, Marvel, uh, DC stuff where the, the, the dates are different, the production dates. Uh, I think that stuff's gonna start coming to play a little bit more this year. And uh, definitely something I would keep your eye out for because now's a good time to get it because once people do care about that eventually, because they, they definitely will, even like Beanie Babies, um, you know, production dates and original stuff matter and makes the value more. I think that stuff's eventually gonna matter and things like that are cheap now because not everybody's thinking about it. So I think now's a good time to pick those up and I think people are gonna start caring about that a little bit more soon. And last but not least is a Hail Mary, but I really hope it happens because it's something I've been wondering when it's gonna happen. Hopefully it happens this year. If it doesn't, hopefully it happens the next. But I hope and I think Dragon Ball Z is finally going to have value as far as Funko Pops are concerned. Almost every other anime has stuff where the commons have value other than Dragon Ball Z. And the reason why is because they're not vaulted yet. Um, I don't think any of them are vaulted for the commons. Maybe some are. Drop down the comment section below if you know. But when stuff was rumored to be vaulted, uh, you know, a year or two ago, I think it was two years ago, like Krillin was uh, rumored to be vaulted, it went up in value. People found that it wasn't and it shot back down. But I definitely think there is potential with Dragon Ball Z being vaulted this year. Um, I don't see a lot of these pops, the old ones at least, being uh, reproduced and being available in stores and such. Uh, so I think it's only a matter of time <clears throat> excuse me, before they're officially vaulted. And I think once that happens, the sky is the limit for these Dragon Ball Z pops. It's, to me, by far the most popular anime um, outside of all these other animes. And anime typically has good resale value. So I think now's the time if you are collecting Dragon Ball Z. It's extremely affordable right now. I think at some point this year, they're going to start vaulting some of the stuff. It's already been rumored some of the stuff is going to be vaulted. I'll give you guys a heads up on that in a future video. But I think now's a good time to pick up a lot of the things that you like from that line. Because I think if it gets vaulted this year, that's going to be an extremely sought after line for people in the fungal copy and also anime collectors in general. So that's what I have you guys today. My five predictions and three lines I think that's going to happen for Funko in 2022. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you agree with me or think something else may happen this year. Be happy to hear your thoughts. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Check me out on my Instagram at the Pop Savage. You can stay connected there too. And also on my second channel at Savage Breaks where I do Pokemon and sport card openings. Thanks again for watching guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.